What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is DJ CS and welcome back to an all new video here on my YouTube channel. In this video we're going to be doing something a little bit different, something I've never done on this video on this channel before, and that is uh, unboxing. What are we unboxing? Well we're unboxing my new PC that I ordered. I'm sorry if this is a little shaky, I'm holding this with my hands, uh, it's with my, my cell phone. Um, in the future, though, hopefully I can do all these videos on my new PC. That is why I bought a PC, so I can record videos on my PC and do things like that. Now, in the past, um, everything I've always done when it comes to YouTube videos is recorded on my phone for video and audio is recorded on my MacBook Pro. And then I go through and I edit everything, put it together. And that's why it kind of takes so long to edit video sometimes. Um... And that's why I haven't been uploading that many videos. So going in the future, hopefully I can get back to making videos strictly for YouTube, getting back to doing Red Dead content, getting back to doing GTA content, which I know some of you don't really care for, but some people do. So uh, all that being said, like I said, in this video, we're going to be unboxing my new PC. I'm super excited. But before we get into that, I want to say this is not the original um original PC I wanted. I was going to get a different company, but uh, in the process of making my selections, the components I wanted, and purchasing it, um, I went through and I selected everything. You know, they gave me like a base of what uh, my price range uh, would like value or whatever. And then I went through and upgraded some things and uh, changed some things here and there. And then I left it in my cart to uh, kind of let a friend check over it, see if it was good. And a couple days went by and then I went to finally make the purchase. And the, uh, I believe it was the CPU or the GPU. A, a lot of things with computers, it's foreign language to me. Either way, uh, the one I had selected was no longer available. And the one they were going to give me was the price of my PC overall. So it would have doubled it. And I was like, no, thank you. So uh, I ended up going with a different company. I ended up going with iBuyPower. And, uh, like I said, pretty much did the same thing, put in my price range, uh, what I was looking for, and then went and, you know, made some alterations, uh, upgraded some things, changed some things. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this and see what we got. And, uh, for those of you who don't know, who don't follow me on Twitter or anything like that, um, I did recently, uh, test positive for COVID. So, uh, it's been a pretty shitty, uh, five days or so, oh, uh, I tested Negative on Friday, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's now Tuesday, so yeah, five days. I tested positive on Monday, even though I tested negative on Friday. Um, so yeah, it's been a pretty shitty five days. So this is actually some good news uh, that I really needed. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. If you're new here, subscribe. Hit that uh, notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. If you enjoy this video, go ahead and drop it a like. I don't really, like I said, I've never really done these before, so I don't really know what the protocol is for uh, 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 box opening. Um, but I know these things get views, so that's what we're going to do. And for anyone concerned, I am on day five now of uh, basically having COVID, I guess. And I'm feeling a lot better, which is surprising, considering the fact, like I said, on Friday, I tested negative when I first started showing symptoms. Monday, I tested positive when I was feeling better. So, like uh, like I said, just, just so you guys know, just so you guys are aware, um, I'm doing better. I appreciate any you know anybody who's concerned or whatever. Appreciate all that. But we're going to get into this video. And I am, of course, regulated to my bedroom since I had to quarantine. Actually, we're going to start from the bottom. Started from the bottom, now we're here. That looks super blurry. Helps if you cut it along the line. That's what the line is there for. Can't really see it though down there. Yeah, whatever. All right, so we're gonna lay it down. I think this is actually the bottom, but nonetheless, we're gonna lay it down and we're gonna open it up. All right, let's see what we got here. Nice piece of uh, padding. And there she be. I buy power 
Trace 4MR case. No idea what that means, but it looks beautiful. What we got over here? We got uh, the gaming keyboard. Now, I recently asked a friend, what is the difference between a gaming keyboard and a normal keyboard? And basically, I, it's, well, you can see, spill-resistant design, uh, 10 million keystroke life cycle, 8 additional multimedia keys, 8 hotkeys for web, email, search, and audio controls, which will be fun when I accidentally hit some of those and do something I didn't mean to want to do, and then 11, 11 lighting effects. So that is the difference. Basically, they're more durable and built for to take a pounding i guess to say uh that's what she said so dedicated volume control is there 11 lighting effects the easy access multimedia control so that's all these buttons up here and then we got um focus focus fn left scroll lock Okay. F and left scroll lock switch lighting effect. Press F N and W and switch the function. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Brightness control. Let's open this up right now. Kind of hard to do this with one hand. There we are. But we're going to manage. Slide it right out. And there she is. Looks like a basic keyboard until it's lit up. Alrighty, what we got next? Alright, so there's another piece of padding. Now it's supposed to be a mouse too. But I don't see a mouse. Move that over there. Holy crap! She is big. Alright, let's kind of cut this open. Slow for dramatic effect. Green screen's in the way. Make sure. Yeah, I don't need to show anybody. That's got my address on it. We don't need to show that. Yep, so here's my mouse. The Ares M2 Gaming Mouse. Go ahead and pop that open. If I can with one hand. This video is going to take some editing. <laughs> There she be. Looks like your basic mouse pretty much, but I guess it's also durable. It takes pounding. Oh, let me got this here. It says, this is your quick start guide. Thank you for purchasing iBuyPowerPC. Uh, pretty much just explains how to set everything up. Which I will be going over, because, you know, I know it's it's common thing for guys not to follow instructions, but when it's something like this, I'm definitely going to need to follow instructions. And excuse my, my pajamas. Like I said, I'm re regulated to my pajamas. I'm regulated to my bedroom here, so I'm just being comfy. <clears throat> Alrighty. Flipped it over. Put the thing down so you guys can hopefully see better. I don't know. Uh, flipped it over. And slide it up. Let it slide off the box. Hopefully, maybe... go box is empty yep sure all right we got a bag here what's in the bag it's a user guide that there 
then we got some kind of cable here. Not really sure what that cable is for. Hopefully you guys can see that. A CD. <laughs> Uh, chipset support DVD, so it's a DVD, not a CD. And then uh, looks like more instructions. And the power plug. So let's go ahead and slide these off. Let's see which side is the top or the bottom. All right, let's put it this way. This part off. This looks like the back. This side off. Nope. This is the bottom. That was the top. Alrighty. And there she is. stuff in there I gotta take out still that so you can see all around it there's the back there's the bottom there's the front alrighty she is unboxed like I said I don't really know what the protocol is for unboxing videos I've never really watched an unboxing video so uh I don't know if I transition now to it being set up and running, maybe, possibly, or if I just end the video now. Who knows? Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. So there you have it. She's pretty, she runs, she works. Unfortunately, can't do too much with it right now because I'm secluded in my room. I'm quarantined, isolated from my family. Um, and everything I would need for it is downstairs in the living room, my Elgato, the consoles, um, the internet. Uh, I thought it had Wi-Fi, but apparently it doesn't. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to get an ethernet cord, hook it all up as soon as I get out of this room. So. What does this all mean? Like I said, in the future, hopefully I can do uh, videos recording straight on my computer, not have to worry about recording it on the phone, recording the audio separate and splicing it all together, and doing all that nonsense. Hopefully this means more videos faster. I'm still working on all these other videos um, from past streams, The, uh, the Last of Us, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Until Dawn, all that stuff. I have Avengers I haven't even started uploading yet. I just finished Horizon Zero Dawn. So that's going to be most likely the last game that I play uh, without the PC. I'm going to wait to start a new game until I have the PC set up. So uh, hopefully you guys will start noticing the difference once I start getting to those games. But like I said, hopefully I can also get back to making videos regularly throughout the week. So look forward to that. That's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop it a like. I would greatly appreciate that. If you're new here, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video, which should hopefully start happening a lot more often now. And I will see you guys in the next one. My name is DJCS. Have a good one, guys. And as always, don't forget to tip your DJ. Later, dudes.